Hi, Northmore family. Hello. Hi hey, it's um, Mrs. Albert. And Mrs. Flyter. We are here to just give you a quick update. We're really going to focus on some parent communication this year, trying to get information out to you. And um, what we've heard is that people really don't like to read things. No. So we're going to try a video to see if we can help walk you through the student handbook with some quick updates. So all grades two through six have a handbook that looks like this. If you're kindergarten or first grade, you have a paper version. Looks like this. Same information, just different look. So we're going to start, and I want to draw your attention to um, a parent, a student parent acknowledgement page. First page, it's a tear out page. Please make sure that this gets back to your child's teacher. That is the um, signature page just saying that, yes, we know that we've received a handbook. We acknowledge the technology policies and all the school rules, things yep. like that. So um, please make sure that gets back. Let's talk real quick about traffic in the mornings. Um, obviously, if you have a bus rider, you don't have to worry about this. <laughs> right. But um, the traffic flow has been going really good. Drop off yeah. here at door one coming um, in off of uh, Route 29 and pulling through, exiting out onto 19. We appreciate that. Students getting out of the car on the sidewalk side yes. because sometimes we do have traffic doubled up there and we don't want to have anybody getting out of the car and then having the someone try side. to pass. So please, right. please continue to, to do a great job with that. Be vigilant. Nine o'clock, the bell does ring. So at 9.01, your child is tardy. Please have them come in with an adult and have the adult sign them in. Yes. It's very important that we have that, um, that procedure followed. Next thing is with dismissal, uh, door one, front elementary office door, that's the door where children who are picked up kind of every now and again are picked up. Door 17 is the door where children who are picked up every day are picked up. We have to sign children out. It is, it's, safety of children is the most important thing. So please be patient with us. We know it takes time, but we need to have these kiddos signed out. We wanna make sure we know who, when, where, all of those things. Please be patient. Um, Mrs. Fighter has some information on notes to school um, regarding pickup changes, things like that. Yes, hi there. Um, in the handbook, it does tell you how, how we would like the notes to be written, but I did write up an example. Um, this is if you're gonna pick your child up early from school, child's full name, the time, and please sign it. Put the teacher's name or office, whichever you wanna put on there, and the date. This is very helpful to us. Sometimes folks don't have the same last name and our brains don't work fully all the time <laughs> to remember all that, so we'd appreciate that. And if your child's going to ride a bus with another student, um, same situation, put the teacher's name, the date, the child's full name, where they're going, with whom, that person's full name, and the date that they're going to ride. Like if you wrote the note this morning, this, this is Friday, say, and but this isn't going to happen till Monday, put that on there so we don't make that mistake in the office. And if, if I am writing home with a child that I don't usually write home, both parents need to send a note. Right, so both we parents. Know. Yeah, that way we know that, you know, Johnny's not pulling a fast one on us. Kids would never do that. <laughs> No, they were <laughs> <laughs> not our kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you are riding the bus, please remind your dear child to mind their manners on the school bus, recognizing that bus behavior is something that's very important from the time they're at the bus stop until they get into the building. Um, once you're on the bus, following the North Moor for being respectful, responsible, safe, and compassionate is really important here. And we do notes, yes, always want to note, we do realize that sometimes an emergency comes up where you would have to phone in and make that change. Um, please, let's hope your emergency happens before 3 p.m. because between 3 and 3.30, it gets a little crazy in the office. It's the end of the day, and we don't want to make a mistake. So if you do forget to write the note or it does become an emergency situation, by all means, call into the office, and we will make that happen. But we do prefer a note over a phone call.
by Thank 3 o'clock. By 3 p.m., yes. All right. We also have some information regarding uh, lunch money. And for those of you who may not have signed up for it yet, we do have the availability of payforit.net where you can load your child's lunch account right online. You do need your child's student ID number to do that. Most kids do know what their ID number is. That's what they use every day to buy lunch. But if not, give us a call in the office. We'll make sure you have that information and you can go on to payforit.net and reload those accounts. If you prefer just to send money the old-fashioned way on the envelope, Here's some examples. Yes, um, please fill it out fully, child's first and last name and their number if you know it, um, the dollar amount, whether it's a check or cash. If you have more than one child, put it all in one envelope. Don't, don't waste your time filling out two, but just give us a little note off to the side how you want that money to be split, and the gals in the cafeteria will take care of it the way you want it done. If you want to sign up for Honeywell Instant Alert and you haven't been able to do that, those directions are in your child's student handbook on page 11. We won't read that to you, but please refer to that in order to sign up for Honeywell. And that is the tool of communication that we would use in the event of a significant emergency um, here at the school, not to mention delays, cancellations. And also, if your child is absent and we don't know why first thing in the morning, the Honeywell is usually sent by 930 9:45, or alerting you to the fact that hey, you know, Johnny didn't come to school today. You need to call the office and update us as to why Johnny didn't come. We try not to abuse the Honeywell. Occasionally, we'll use it to remind you of something special coming up as well, mm -hmm. like fun night events of that nature. Right. Um, we will continue our work this year regarding the leader and me. So you can refer to um, all of that information again in your child's handbook. You'll find a matrix of expected behaviors. Um, in each school environment so you can check that out review that with your child it's very helpful um, we are also um, very excited to announce that this year our students kindergarten through sixth grade are all going to be one-to-one -one with technology so either with iPads or Chromebooks here in the schoolhouse all children will have access to that technology it's really exciting but as you can imagine and probably relate to because you have these devices at your home they're expensive oh yeah and um, remind children that as parents, you are the taxpayers and you actually kind of own these devices as well. So let's remember to treat them mm -hmm. nicely. Oh, let's, yeah. you know, not flip off keys, things like that. So parents, if you could just give your child a friendly reminder of treating the school technology property and really all school property, exactly. um, it's going to save us all a lot in the long run. We have Mrs. Cresswell here. Um, Hello. She has some interesting things going on on the Facebook page. Yes. Uh, hello. I am Mrs. Cresswell and I'm the new school counselor and I'm inviting you to please like our Facebook page to get all of the recent updates of the great things that we're doing here at Northmore. So if you go to the Northmore Facebook page, you'll find a link to a parent survey that I've created. It's only four questions long and so far, I have 79 responses. I am so pleased with the participation so far, and thank you very much. I want to just tell you why I am doing this survey. I, I am gaining some data so that I know from a parent's perspective the types of things that I can address at specific grade levels in the elementary. So, so far, with the 79 responses, I see that, that students' specific skills that are in high need are responsibility, conflict resolution, and organization. That's a tip for me that I need to offer some small group social skills training on those types of things. Also, school-wide, I've noticed that bullying and communication with parents are high need areas. I really appreciate knowing that type of information so that then I can work with a team of people to address those things. So, one more thing on the Facebook page. Coming soon will be a link to my website and there you can find links to the surveys, a little bit of information about the school counseling department and eventually once the all of my survey data comes in I'll be able to share that with you so you can look at it as you please. Excellent. That's very exciting. And on a Facebook note, our PTO does also have a oh, Facebook right. page. Um, PTO's first meeting is coming up on September the 12th at 7 p.m. here in the elementary library. Would love to see any parents who are interested in learning more about the PTO as an organization or finding a way to be involved. Come on in. We invite you and we'd love to have you. So um, that's on Monday, right? September 12th. That's Tuesday. 
Tuesday, thank you. Yes, September 12th. Tuesday, September 12th, 7 p.m., elementary library, PTO meeting. Um, fundraiser this year, Mumpkins and Mumsters are being sold exclusively by 5th and 6th graders. Okay. Uh, that will support their Mohican Outdoor School. Um, that comes up in the spring. Yeah, yeah. for 6th grade. So giving 5th grade an opportunity to raise a little bit of money in, the, in advance. If you want to order those, please seek one of our 5th or 6th grade students out. Or let us know here in the office. Yeah, give a call and we'll make sure if you don't know have a particular student in mind, we'll find a student who is in need of earning some extra money mm -hmm. for their Mohican And trip. we'll make sure that order goes mm -hmm. on there. And the last thing I have for you is that we will be selling Winter Pine as a whole building mm -hmm. this year. So I that will be our Winter full Pine. school fundraiser. Look for that. Dates will be forthcoming on that. If you have any questions or concerns, you can call the office, but all the email addresses here at school are um, the person's first letter of their first name. So I'm Amanda, so it's a albert at nightpride.org. That's me. You can reach me there um, or in any staff member for that matter using that at nightpride.org um, address. So thank you for watching. We know it was a little yeah. lengthy, but at least you didn't have to read, That's right? True. <laughs> okay, have a great weekend and uh, let us know if we can be helpful. Take care.